A GPU, a TPU, and a CPU walk into a bar and there's a beautiful woman sitting alone. Who goes home with her? To understand the answer, you have to understand that these aren't just chips. They are three very different, very dysfunctional types of dudes. First, you have the CPU, the central processing unit. This guy is the manager. He walks in wearing a tailored suit, checking his watch every three seconds. He is incredibly sophisticated. He went to Harvard. He can talk about philosophy, taxes, and poetry, all within the same sentence. He is optimized for latency, which means he thinks fast on his feet. He's charming, he's witty, and he can handle complex branching conversations without breaking a sweat. But here's his problem. He's a control freak. He's a scalar thinker. He can only focus on one thing at a time. If the woman asks him to hold her purse, buy a drink, and tell a joke simultaneously, he panics. He overheats. He spends 90% of his time just managing his own anxiety. He's brilliant, but he's high maintenance. Next, you have the GPU, the graphics processing unit. This guy is the gym bro. He walks in wearing a tank top that is struggling to contain his massive deltoids. He is not smart. He cannot do calculus. If you ask him a complex logic puzzle, he will just stare at you until you leave. But this guy has throughput. He doesn't have one brain. He has 10,000 tiny bird-sized brains. He attacks problems with brute force. If the woman needs someone to move a thousand heavy boxes, the CPU would carry them one by one while complaining about his back. The GPU just picks up the entire building. He's loud, he consumes a massive amount of energy, and he requires constant supervision, but if you need raw, dumb muscle, he is the only choice. Finally, sitting in the corner, you have the TPU, the Tensor Processing Unit. This guy is the obsessive specialist. He is wearing a lab coat and hasn't slept in four days. He doesn't look at the woman, he doesn't look at the bartender, he is staring at a napkin, doing matrix multiplication. He is a systolic array in human form. He has no social skills, he can't run an operating system, he can't render a video game, but he is a savant. If you ask him to multiply two massive matrices, he does it instantly, without even blinking. He is efficient, cold, and calculated. He doesn't waste energy on personality, he just crunches the numbers. So, who wins? By the way, like and subscribe for more videos like this. The CPU walks up to her and overthinks his opening line until she gets bored. The TPU doesn't even notice she's there because she isn't a floating point number. And the GPU? The GPU tries to buy her a drink, accidentally knocks over the entire bar, sets the rug on fire, and somehow, through sheer chaos and volume, ends up being the most popular guy in the room. But here is the twist. The woman isn't a woman, she's AI. So knowing that, if 